Hello, in this video we're going to be showing you how to set up a 2 and 3 axis orbit on this COC200 orbit cut from Comweb on a Joe Mars AZ series spark erosion machine. Making sure your electrode's clear, press the auto center button. This will move all the way to both the axes and then back to center. You'll know when it's done because the center light will come on. In this two axis example we're going to be sparking down in Z first and then when we're at depth we're going to use our end point and then orbit out. With the centre light now illuminated, we're going to set up our orbit pattern. First select X and Y for a two axis orbit. We're doing a circular pattern. We're then going to check that we've got a positive head, a negative table and the stop button on. And then I'm going to select the radius that I want the orbit to go out on. So for this, 0.5. I'm going to increase the servo to 1 to slow it down a little bit. And then I'm going to set the lift height and the gap volts to 4. I can adjust these later. On this AZ series machine, we're going to set our endpoint up. We go into edge find, and then we adjust the bottom to the amount of minutes that we want it to dwell when it gets to its endpoint. Then we're going to set the program up as you would any other. So we're going to set our depth. So for this, we're going to set 5 mil. And then we're going to set the fuzzy logic up. Copper to steel. Set our electrode size, low gap volts, and then up to 9 amps. That will auto generate our parameters. I'm going to shut the gate and turn on my pump and set up my flushing. Once I'm happy I'm going to put the spark on and then I'm going to spark down to depth and as you can see the orbit cut isn't moving and I'm sparking without it activated. Once I reach depth all I need to do is select cycle start. This will begin the orbit. Once the orbit's complete, it will return to center and then it will send an end signal to the machine. At this point, you also want to monitor the gap volts and adjust it on the controller to get between 25 and 30 volts. You can then adjust the lift height and retraction to get yourself a stable cutting conditions. Once it's complete, you'll get your end signal. For a three axis orbit, simply select X, Y, Z, and then you can immediately start your cycle. The orbit cut will start moving through its entire range and will continue doing this until it receives an end signal from the machine. Set up the machine as previously shown and then start the process.